Okay, so uh, the next blower motor arrived, which is this one. Um, according to the type thing, is it upside down? It is upside down. You can probably not even read it. So anyway, that is, what does it say, 24 volts. It is another low voltage version, which works just like a PC fan. I don't know if those uh, other pins are even hooked up. I can't see anything that they are hooked up to anything. So, I guess not. It's conformally coded. The circuit still works, I just confirmed it. The bearings are shot, again. So, gonna replace the bearings, reassemble it, and then, yay. So, this one is a bit more modern than the other one here. This is the other low voltage version. No shenanigans around here. Um, new one has this between the motor and the housing which is flexible in the direction of the rotation so <coughs> that's probably making it more silent um, yeah that's basically everything I have to say about it uh, the only problem when repairing these you have to kind of turn off the um, this thing impeller so you can actually take the whole assembly off the case. So that's the only downside to those. So they were made with maintenance in mind. But if you're careful enough, like I heat it up and then I turn it so I can get it free without it breaking actually. Let's see, is there still... Okay, apparently the plastic was soft enough to remain in here. So... Uh... There's no plastic stuck to it. So yeah, I just have to replace the bearings. And this time I even know how I can get them out. <laughs> At least I hope it will be that easy again. But yeah, uh, better than it was the last time. So that's how we have our thing here. Um, the circuit itself, so we see those four MOSFETs. I don't know what this one is. I it could be a voltage regulator for the circuit uh, here. Um, so I can't really read it because it's formally coded. Let's see, can we? 336 is what I read on here, and on the others, uh, there's this is 338. 338. So, whatever these are, they're different from this. I don't know. Maybe this is a break, because what I noticed when I uh, switched it off from uh, the power supply, at some point it, it suddenly breaks, well, rather violently, so it shorts out the coil, I guess, which could be done by this one. Um, I don't know, though. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense, because this is the plus, then goes to the back. Uh, uh, I don't know. So, <clears throat> it's not that important how it works. It's just uh, the same thing I would need for... Uh, which one was it? Could... What is this one? Uh, maybe the one where, with the two pins only, because I only see two pins soldered here. So uh, that works in the same fashion as does this leftover thing here. This is from our own central heating. Um, we got that replaced because the circuitry act acted up. And also the circuitry is just the same as here, like 220 volts and some control inputs. Um, so I really prefer these ones that just have 24 volts or 32 or 39, whatever the other one. I think 39 is it, what this one had. Um, <clears throat> but this one goes up to full speed at 24, so I can power it with this. That's pretty nice. Does it say anything about the rating? Power rating 49 watts. So at 24, that's probably like 2 amps, so can pull that out of here. That's nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna replace the bearings and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got the thing out and what an asshole design. 
So this is the bearing size I have. It fits on here. If I get it out. But on this side, there's a smaller bearing on here. For no reason. Do you see this? There's enough space for this one here. No problem. Would fit no problem in here. The only reason why they would use a smaller one uh, on this side is so it can fail earlier. That's my guess. Because the smaller the bearing is and the more the forces that are applied to it will wear it down. So that's a business model I guess. Plant obsolescence. What a fucking bullshit and then they don't make it serviceable. Um, yeah so not gonna fix this one tonight. Um, I'll have to order another bearing and I can't read what it says on here. Indonesia 6 to uh, no 6 6 minus 6 3 Z. This is 626. So 663 and oh god. That's really annoying. I don't know. I have to Get another bearing size um, that I will most likely never use again. I was so happy that <laughs> these just fit on the other one. They were all the same. For no reason at all, uh, they just put a smaller one in here. Well, no reason is wrong. Of course, their PR team would say, yeah, there's no, no real reason. We just put that there. It should be enough. Yeah, enough for three years of runtime. Let's see, when was this, when was this one made? 2004 is what I guess. Made in Germany. Proudly made in Germany. And then it fails uh, probably 10 to 15 years later. Great. <clears throat> Quality work. Um, but I mean you really see there is enough space. There's just air in here. I mean do those uh, those screw holes you could fit those in the sides here. There's no reason to make it this small. You could just adjust uh, the circuit board to make that hole bigger. And it works on this side, surprisingly. <laughs> Although this one has a really strange outer side, so I'm unsure if that's a different bearing type. Um, I'll go out on a limp and say this one didn't fail. I'm gonna test this later, but yeah, I guess that the small one failed. Um, <clears throat> so, yep, I'm gonna order a new bearing and then I'll replace that and then we have another blower motor that works. Um, the thing is with those, I can probably not sell them. Um, because I know Germans and there's only few Germans that would put a refurbished fan like this in their central heating and if they would do it only if it's like for free basically I guess no one would pay a lot of money for it um, because those aren't known to be uh, fixable as you see the thing that has to come off um, yeah and also I had to solder something on here for testing so they were like oh what is this this doesn't look like mine um, so yeah, no one would just buy one of these with the label fixed, <laughs> repaired or anything on eBay, uh, unless for really low prices. So I'm only gonna get rid of this one if I uh, really don't need it. Um, I might see, I still have to check out if I can get this one to run. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it if it runs, uh, but I can probably not really sell it. But I know we have a central heating in my f someone in my family owns one that needs this type of blower so if it fails maybe we can use it there um, but yeah for now new bearing okay so I took both of the bearings out and apparently both are shot well not really shot this one's just a bit noisy uh, and this one sounds like there's some debris in there that has broken loose so yeah, uh, my original assumption was right. They made this one smaller so it fails earlier. <laughs> what a fucking dick move. But 
what do you expect from all German companies? First, they build up an image of high quality and everything. And then, as it always goes, a new manager or someone comes along to optimize uh, profits. He optimizes profits by uh, making it fail prematurely. And till those fail, the manager is going to be out of the company already, uh, has his millions and everything, <laughs> and the damage is done. So, yeah, but no one, like, I don't know anyone who knows that these things are made by EBM pumps, and no one ever says, oh, yeah, they, they fail almost uh, all the time because, well, they all only have like one uh, central heating and well the fan has failed like twice already or something and in ours this is I think the one we have now is our third one and the central heating is 20 uh, let's say 23 years old so three fans in 23 uh, years uh, not that great <clears throat> Although in our case the electronics failed every time, not the bearings. So I'm I rather want to have them fail the bearings. Although I don't know if the bearings failed because it also wait this is the wrong one. Uh, here. I don't know if you can hear. It. There's this wire that I tacked to it because I wanted to drive it. Let's see. Yeah. I think the bearings are also shot. Maybe that's also why we replaced it, but they are always loud. At least the ones in our central heatings always make noise. Um, now in this one I replaced the back bearing with uh, one of these. Uh, this is uh, one that I already replaced, by the way, so this is uh, a bit different from the others. It has a smaller guard shield thing. So <clears throat> this one has a really big shield. But that didn't help either, so it failed too. Um, I'm just going to keep these because they basically work. They're just a bit rough. So if I ever need something, like for a drawer or something, I'm going to use these. Something that isn't really uh, that bad if it's a bit noisy. But in this case, it is bad. Like, I spun it up to maximum speed and oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this one sounded rough because it has like this small piece of... The debris in it. Let's see if I can... Let me put the camera here. You can probably not see it, but can maybe... Oh, let me put the microphone here. You can maybe hear it when I turn the thing. Yeah. I, I don't know if you could hear that, but... That is what the bearing does, and yeah, I have to replace that. I wish I could put a bigger one in here, but I have the feeling that that doesn't work. So, because here are the screws coming out and they're screwing into the red base. Now there's no reason to make it so small. They could have made it bigger and put a bigger bearing in there. Like, there's enough space between those springs. You see, they could have just moved the hole out on each of the three sides. I mean, those are now four, but yeah. <laughs> Let's just use three springs then or something, I don't know. Or six, or whatever, just make them smaller. Because, like, this piece here in the middle that moves is already smaller. You could have, could have made that a bit bigger. So, yeah, this is just... There's no... Uh, no excuse for uh, this small bearing. It's just here, so it fails prematurely. But oh well, I got this for, again, one euro and I think five euros of shipping. Somewhere around. That's a between five and ten euros is what I paid for the whole thing. And after replacing the bearings, I'm going to have a working blower motor again, which I can use for whatever I have to use. The thing is, uh, yeah, blow motors aren't really that... <laughs> useful but um, I'm working with wood now and I p plan to in the future 
so I could use a filter system and if I use those that could work uh, especially because those are able to uh, send well what do you call it wood shavings down the thing if they're not too big so if you file something or if you saw something I'm gonna build a bandsaw if I haven't said that yet I'm gonna build a bandsaw and then I can maybe use one of those blowers to blow that into a sack or something so yay <clears throat> Okay, so that's it for this video. Gonna buy a new bearing or several because just buying one bearing that that doesn't <laughs> doesn't really make sense. Uh, and you can always use those for something else. Okay, bye. Okay, so I haven't bought the bearing yet for the blow motor um, or didn't get here yet, um, but I got this from another eBay auction. All these four things, uh, I think, well something around 10 euros again I don't even think maybe ah, I don't remember it's something around 10 so what do we have here 100 volt DC 100 volt DC 100 volt 3 phase AC and a 100 volt well 220 what does it say 220 to 120 volts AC ring transformer um, <laughs> now the listing said there is a transformer included for uh, this one. Now, how does that work with three wires and only two coming out of it? Well, the, those two, well, red is input and the other two are output. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just, uh, I don't know. First, I'm going to take this apart to see if it really is a three phase or if it just has a start winding and a run winding or whatever. Maybe it's really just the normal AC motor. Who knows? So that's why I'm going to take it apart. Also, this this belt thing is on backwards. I don't know who installed it, but yeah, it's on backwards. Uh, these were, these two have different ones. The bearings, not the bearings, the contacts on the back here. They squeak. Only on the left side. We're okay in this direction, so I guess this is the run direction then. But this one doesn't squeak. It goes easier in the left, so I don't know. I'll just uh, put a rectifier on this and run these, so... Actually no, I'm just gonna put these on the PCU first. Uh, I don't want to just pump 100 volts in here and have those go at ridiculous speeds. Are they rated at something? 100 volts, 41 watt, 2000 RPM. So 2000 isn't that bad. And yeah, <clears throat> pretty nice motors though. And I get them for basically free, just paying the, the shipping and that's it. So yeah, that is uh, just a little update of this package um, that I get. Um, really happy with the transformer because it also has a 20 volt output so you can put control circuitry on it. Which I think is what was done with it. The point is the control circuitry for the motor is missing. Although I also don't know what... What are you going to do with such a small motor? Why do you... Like the transformer is bigger than the motor. Why, why would you do that? I don't know what it was used for. So... Oh well, at least I have a small motor. I can maybe make a small saw out of it. Or out of these. If I get them to run properly. Like uh, one of these uh, vibration saws, where you can saw stuff on, that would be nice. I could really use that for some things. Um, so, yeah, don't know what I'm going to make out of them yet. Uh, but I have them. What does it say here on Linux? Not like Linux, like the OS Linux. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I think this one does not have anything on here. Yeah, that's a Chinese one again. 100 volts, 50, 60 hertz. 10 microfarads, 200 volt AC. So apparently it needs a run cap that is not included. So I guess it's just a normal induction motor then. 
that needs a run cap on one of the pins. So I'm going to take it apart and maybe I can find out which one is the starter winding. So, but it's really strange. Why the fuck would you make one for 100 volts? I would understand 110 because that's for the US. But 100? Like, why? <laughs> Just a few more turns and it's 110 volts. Or a lot of more turns and you have 220 or something. I, I, doesn't really make sense but oh well <laughs> at least we have a motor okay bye